Hey everyone, Savannah here, and it's time for another uh, little podcast update. Um, I'm debating if I should continue calling these knitting podcasts. I mean, granted, that's all I have today, but I do um, show cross-stitch here and there and other little crafts that I do. So I'm wondering if this would just be a crafty channel or if I should just call it a maker's podcast. I don't even know. Um, but it's something that's been on my mind lately. Um, again, today is just mainly knitting. Um, so yeah, that's if, <laughs> if you're new here, that is what this channel is. I am a creator. Um, I knit, I cross stitch, I sew, um, I dabble in other, you know, if I find a craft that is new to me and it looks interesting, I'm going to try it and see if I like it. So, um, yeah. Again, um, I'm Savannah. I am the owner and dyer behind SoLivyDyesYarn.com. Um, I have Instagram. I have a Facebook page. I have Ravelry. Um, and everything will be down below in the description if you want to, to find um, me on social media. <laughs> uh, Today is, oh, let's see. Today is March 2nd. March 2nd. It's already in March. It's crazy. This is my son's birth month and Aurora's birth month as well. Um, what else? What else real quick? Oh, um, I did want to talk about my face. <laughs> uh, I forgot to mention it last week. Um, obviously I look different because I'm not wearing my glasses. Um, if you're an OG to my channel back when I used to do floss tubes years ago, um, I look like this or you know somewhere similar I don't feel like I look the same that I did back then but um uh all of my early 20s and early 30s I wore well all of my 20s and early 30s I wore contacts all the time and about a year and a half maybe two years ago I decided to start wearing glasses again um that was because I got a pair of cute ones and I wanted to wear them Two, my eyes really needed a break from wearing contacts. So yeah, um, we're gonna go with contacts for a little while and see. Uh, excuse me. Let's see how it goes. Um, I really missed wearing sunglasses. Um, I think that was the biggest thing. <laughs> I missed wearing sunglasses. Uh, anyways, sorry, my eyes are now watering. Okay, my shirt says introverted but willing to discuss knitting. Yep. <laughs> um, okay, let's go ahead and dive into what I've been working on. Um, first is the big one, my test knit for Susan of Ye Yeoni, Yeoni Knits, French Terry. So I'm testing this. I have until the end of March to finish it. So I had a goal to get the yoke done before March 1st, and I was able to get it done February 27th um, after going ham for like two nights in a row. The guy pushed it. I think I, and it's funny too, because I knit for those two, two days, so like the 26th, the 27th, knit, 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 like crazy was fine. I took the, the 28th off from that project and knit a little on a different one. And then I went back to knitting on it today. And now um, last night was really bad and it still hurts right now. But right here in my wrist, this part hurts really bad. And I am not okay with that. I probably shouldn't put this watch on today actually. <laughs> so this killed my wrist pretty much, but I got it finished. Um, and now all I need to do is finish the body and the sleeves before the end of the month, which I'm hoping I can manage. Um, it is curling up a little bit in the back. But this is where I'm at. See, like I said, it's curling up a bit. So that marker is where I was last time I showed you um, on my channel here. So I went crazy um, last night. Um, I knit a round of this and then when I went to get to the next round I realized that it was off like it shifted somehow and I was like what the heck happened so I had to go and I went 
<laughs> I probably didn't have to do this, but I did it. I managed to tink back an entire like round. Um, thankfully I figured out how to do it without having to twist any stitches this time. Like, cause this is a honeycomb stitch and it's, you have, what is it? Okay. You got two stitches and then like one wrapped around this stitch and you have to do fancy things to them to make this texture. And so trying to tink it back was, was challenging. When I tinked it back before is when I, I think I managed to get this slanted. See, it's slanted. I think I, I messed up when I had to tink it back up here. But thankfully, I was real nervous because I'm like, that's like right in the middle of the body. It's going to be so noticeable. I managed. Anyways, so I tinked it all back and I was like, what did I do wrong? So I went and counted all my stitches to make sure. And what had happened was right here at my beginning of the round um, marker, I had managed to slip this stitch, I believe onto the opposite side. I don't know how it happened, but it did. It was just on the opposite side of the marker. So all I had to do is slip that over and everything was back to normal. So this yarn is called Bloomin' Bloomers and it is by um, Andromeda Sock Yarn. And it's really nice. It's looking really good. I'm excited to have this finished. To think that I could possibly have a sweater finished <laughs> this month. <laughs> After it, it being forever since I've finished a sweater. It feels like it's been forever. Maybe November. <gasps> I don't know. It's probably November since I last finished a sweater. So yep, yeah, gotta work on this guy. I just need to take it take it slower probably now but yeah everything is working up real nice um and i'm slightly behind only in the sense that every so often i'll receive an email from susan and with an update to the pattern i'm like yes i didn't have to <laughs> i didn't have to run into that issue it's just fixed for me i mean i feel bad for the people who i run into that issue but yeah <laughs> okay next next is my what is this the radvent radvent uh cardigan by amba o'brien the radvent cardigan the one side's already finished almost finished with the oh my gosh was this the left side yes the left side Oh, I don't want them to fall off. I don't want my stitches to fall off. See? So I think I have what? I have I have two more colors for the body. So I have this dark color. So I'm on this color right now. Am I? Yes. No. Oh. What? I'm so confused. Why is there... Oh, did I skip a color? Let me double check. No, I didn't skip a color. Oh, I got nervous. So I'm currently working on this color. I have this color left and then this darkest color, which is just half of that because you're gonna, on the other end and you're going to graft them together. So yeah, I only have... Two colors left. Um... And then graft it together and then, uh, you know, bands and whatnot. So the yarn, like I've mentioned before, if you've seen my other videos, if you have not, um, my yarn is Monsoon Calamity. Yes, Monsoon Calamity uh, yarn. This colorway is called Nova. And it is a four-stranded cotton yarn. It comes in a big cake if you get the, if you get the biggest one. I mean, it comes in different sizes, but I always get the biggest one because I'm crazy. But, you know, it, it works out for itself. Um, so it comes in a big cake, and it's usually a um, gradient of some sort. 
So mine started here in the middle of the cake and then it worked its way this way. I did have to deconstruct the cake um, into individual the individual colors for this project specifically, but I've used this yarn before on a, a re, just a regular raglan sweater called the um, Winter Woods Raglan by Carpe Lana, um, and you just you would just knit 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 knit, and it automatically changes the you know the stripes on its own. So this is what is left of all the colors that I've used so far. Which is kind of fun um as i as i'm going you know it's it's funny because you buy the cake and the middle color has the least amount i think it's like 18 grams maybe of that one color all the way up to the darkest color or the outside color has the most and mine had about 30 ish grams but because of the way that this is knitting up um my first color the the teal or this green color has the most inside this and I'm working my way out and every you know each color is getting smaller and smaller smaller because each section is getting bigger and bigger and bigger so I don't know what will happen with this probably maybe go into my northeasterly blanket I would love to make socks, but it's 100% cotton. It's not going to work for socks. Um, but yeah, like I said, I have, uh, this is the one I'm working on, and then this one, and then this one. It's really hard to show, but it's purples, deep purples. And then this is my, my contrast. I dyed this up, um, so it's just a, a gray tonal. A deep gray charcoal tonal to go for the the bands the bands anyway so slowly chugging along on this maybe this will get done this month doubt it I doubt it I'll probably have the majority of it done this month and then next month for the the button band and the hem and stuff like that uh, last project that I worked on. I started this one yesterday for the first. This is my March socks. So I got just a small start. I actually restarted this cuff yesterday. Um, I had gotten it done and then I was going to design another pattern with it, but the pattern idea that I had, um, I don't think it's going to work with this colorway. I feel like it's a little too busy. Um, I think more of a tonal would be great because then you might get to see the texture. Um, so that'll have to wait. But, yep, I'm not a fan of orange. I'm really not. So I snow dyed this. I think I talked about it last video. Snow dyed this um, yarn. Um, and then this is part of later. I'll show you. <laughs> So yeah, that's it. This is on a 1.25, ow, a 1 point, oh my gosh, no, it is just a US one, a 2.25 millimeter magic loop. Um, and I did 10 rounds of just one by one ribbing and then I'm about to just do straight sock and I, I think I'm just going to do a vanilla sock for this one, just a vanilla sock. Um, so yeah. Got my March socks. Oh, and it's called a March sock because there is a knit along happening. Um, so sweet Violet and one other person are hosting a knit along. It is called the Rainbow Socks Chronicles knit along. Um, it's on Ravelry under So Sweet Violet's podcast Ravelry group. Um, the, the idea is to knit a pair of socks every month for all 12 months. Um, and it has to be, the requirement is it has to be fingering or I believe you can do DK. I think so. Um, but fingering DK, it has to be an adult size sock and it has to be full length, no shorty socks. Um, and each month is a colored theme. Like January was pink or light pink. February was dark pink or red, and March is orange or peach. 
um, what's next? Oh, um, April is yellow and then so on and so forth. Um, I believe October, November, and December are free months though. So you can do whatever you want. And then at the end of the year, you're supposed to take a picture of your socks in rainbow order in a circle to submit for prizes. Um, I just like the idea of having a ton of socks. So, I mean, I am trying to stay on top of this, uh, this knit along and get them finished before the end of the month kind of thing. And I will be submitting the photo at the end. Um, so yeah, it's, it's been fun knitting socks and it's in my little, uh, this is a utterly adorable knits, um, project bag. I was gifted this for Christmas from a dear friend and it's got baby Yoda all over it. Grogu because she knows how much I love him. This is a really nice bag. It's really well made. Um, okay, so those are the projects that I've worked on. Um, like I said, I did cross stitch a little bit, but it was last night only because I was going ham on the sweater. Um, so I didn't want to bring it down and show you because it really it was not a lot. I think I did about 150 stitches last night and it's all confetti stitches. So you're not really going to see much of a, a difference. But hopefully I can get that page finished real soon. I'm, I'm getting close real quick okay. haul we'll do haul real quick um I received this guy in the mail isn't this beautiful so I watch Chemnitz on YouTube here she is a yarn dyer and she's she specifies in like dyeing tutorials dyeing experiments just fun stuff so this one is the January 2021 Chemnitz Dye Along Live that she did, um, which was streamed on the 25th of January, if you wanna go back and look at it. Or you can go find the one that is the recap. Um, so she had a photo inspiration of like a firework, not a firework, like a sparkler. And it was like real zoomed in. And then the background was all blurry. So just big spots of color. Um, so this is uh, what she created from that inspiration photo. Um, the neon colors is what got me. This also glows under black light. I don't have one, but she, on her Etsy listing for this, she shows a picture of that. And this is just a fingering weight. I believe it's Stroll because she always tells you what kind of yarn she uses in her videos. Um, but it's just beautiful. I love... Yeah, and I really need to buy neon dyes, these these fluorescent dyes, um, for myself to dye with. Um, I just I haven't yet. I don't know why, but I haven't. They're just fantastic. So I'm kind of excited to see this knit up into a pair of socks because it's all this like dark blue and teal, uh, except for like a little this little area of neon be fun it's it's so soft and fluffy okay and then the last haul that i got is um this knitter's journal by knit picks um so i get their catalog and i got it the other day and i saw this in there and i was like "Ooh, i really like that um so i immediately ordered it um i'm not too thrilled with a little bit of this. So it's called a deluxe knitter's journal on the website. And when you're gonna use the word deluxe, you should probably step up your game just a little bit. This cover is just folded over cardstock. A little bit thicker than cardstock, like a thicker cardstock. It's just paper. Like, could I not at least have like faux leather or something like that? It's got a, um, you can't see it. There, It's a knit texture, like a stockinette knit texture on this front part. But this is just, I, I'm not thrilled with the quality of this cover. Like it could easily rip. Um, when I took it out of the package, I freaked out for a second because I couldn't see the spiral bound. And I'm just like, this isn't what I ordered. Um... Yeah, and the cover is a little bit like scratched because it is just cardboard. But I'll show you real quick. You got your front page, 
But then you immediately go into... Okay, there, see, I started filling it out a little bit. Now, I like um, the way they have this written out for each project. You have all that stuff. You got your start, finish, project name, all that stuff. What kind of yarn, your gauge, needle type measurements you got a little bit of a graph there if you're gonna chart something you can put a picture there or sketch and then note section and you got several of these pages um throughout oh and they got this cute little thing at the bottom i think you can highlight it's not going to focus it says progress and then it says planning swatch cast on halfway almost done bind off blocked and done i think you highlight each section as you complete it complete it like if you you're done planning you can you're done swatching you can highlight those kind of thing so you get several pages of this sorry and then you come on to a section where it's just um lined paper for a little while and then you come to a section that has graph paper which i do um enjoy this bit especially for designing um, and then in the end, let's get over here. Sorry. Okay. At the end you have how to take a measurement standard size guide for all the different sizes, like women's small or extra small all the way to four X. You got men's sizes. Um, children and infants and then for this page and the next two pages are actually a place where you can put measurements to remember so you can put the, your name your spouse's name kids name anybody's name it says date I don't know why I guess maybe you can remember like like especially if it's a kid then you know that was back then when they were this old but you can write down their measurements for like their back and hips uh, waist, chest, hand, foot, head, shoulders, sleeve, you know, so that you have that kind of information if you want to make gifts. I thought that was kind of nifty. Um, there is a glossary for different types of things like, you know, make one left, make one right, slip, slip, knit, you know, you got your mattress stitch, Judy's magic cast on, provisional cast on, you know, random stuff. Um, and then more abbreviate, like abbreviation, uh, exp you know, just so you know what it means. Like if you've never seen one before, you're like, what does that mean? And then this doohickey, which will definitely come in handy because I can, I can never remember. <laughs> DK is a three. For some reason, I can never remember that. And then the last page is just this little ruler. So it does have some good things. I'm just not thrilled with the cover material. Um, it really could have been better. But yeah, from Nitpicks. And it was 20 bucks. 20 bucks for this guy. So. All right. And then Adventures in Dying. Um, we had another snow day last week. We got a good foot in my yard. <laughs> Especially my driveway. Thank you, snow. That was fun to shovel. It was so funny too because I was shoveling. Um, I only had to do like half the driveway and one side of the sidewalk because my husband's truck was in the other end and then he did what was in front of the truck before he left for work. So I only had the other half. It was still quite a bit though, being a foot. Um, I got to the last scoop and my neighbor came around the corner with his snow blower and I'm like, you're too late. <laughs> I already finished. Oh well, so we had a good, decent amount of snow and a lot of it was um, light and fluffy. So I was like, we are snow dying again. And this time we're gonna do fun colors, <laughs> not just one color. Um, so this one, I need to unwrap it because some of the color is hiding. So I um, used, what did I use? Teal green. Blued Steel and Ballerina Pink, I believe. And then I did maybe Hot Fuchsia too. Hot Fuchsia from Jacquard. Um, 
so I sprinkled that on, um, and I'll insert pictures as I'm talking here. Sprinkled it on. Um, it didn't look like it was enough, but I'm glad that I left it because as you can see, um, it spread a lot. Um, unfortunately, the pink kind of got overpowered, as you can see, and only stayed in this area right here. But I think it's still pretty cool. Um, and I do like this color. It gives me some ideas for um, a future Lore Olympus uh, character for my Lore Olympus um, yarn club that I have on my uh, on my website. I was going to say Facebook, but I'm like, uh, no, it's on my website. So I did this one. Wait. I left it outside for a little bit and then I, was, I got impatient so I brought it in so that it could melt faster and there was so much dye left over so I was like okay well let's go grab another skein of bare yarn and try to soak up all this dye so I was like okay well we'll dip dye it kind of and see what happens and so I dip dyed it and it soaked up um, all the blue and it started to break and leave this lavender color, which is gorgeous. This is also um, a sparkle base. <laughs> Ooh, it's so sparkly. Look at that. Wow. So for my lighting, I got, I got kind of, um, I wouldn't say smart, but I got smart. Um, YouTube has a 24 hour just white screen. You just turn your TV into a bright white screen. I think that's really helping uh, <laughs> with the sparkle. Holy monkeys. Anyway, so dip dyed it, um, soaked up what was left of the blue, I guess, and it turned purple. But I, it wouldn't soak up all the purple. So I had to get another skein to soak up the rest of the purple. So this skein was not bare when I dipped it. This was actually my Falcor colorway that I did for my Never Ending Story Yarn Club, which is no longer available um, at this time. Um, so this actually was a light gray base with these pink speckles. But I wasn't 100% um, thrilled with it, so I was like, well, I can use this to soak up um, the rest of the dye. It took a while to get it. Um, I don't think I fully exhausted the pan. Um, so I got some beautiful, like, darker purple bits and then the lighter bits. Um, it was a lot of dye. But yeah, this is what I... This is what I got from one snow dye. It's fun. I don't know if I could put this one with these two for a project. I mean, possibly, but it's really pretty. Also, I kind of, I'm not sure, but would you consider this teal or would you consider this turquoise? Like I have to do turquoise for May, June, and I would love this to qualify. I don't know. This was my adventures in dyeing. It was so much fun. Okay. Um, it's already going over a lot. Last is shop update. Shop update. So I did a shop update yesterday. But um, I, I know not a lot of people follow me yet. So not everybody would know um, quickly. So I did um, up, uh, make the next month of the Lore Olympus um, Yarn Club available. This month is Demeter. She is the mother of Persephone and the goddess of harvest. Granted, like not the perfect time because it's not harvest time for at least the Northern Hemisphere. I guess it'd work for the Southern Hemisphere. Almost time for harvest next month. Um, but um, a lot of people uh, suggested her when I asked in a Lore Olympus uh, support group on Facebook. They they mentioned using her. I believe maybe because her colors in Lore Olympus are green and purple. Um, 
some kind of springy colors. Um, so yeah, that's who we went with this time. Um, so that is now available and it's open for pre-orders until the 15th of March and then I'll close it so that I can dye up everything and send it out. It will reopen in April as the other two months have already been open, reopened for dye to order. So there's that one. Um, I finally got decent photos of these little sock stitch markers that I made. I don't know if I'll be able to show very well. This little sock. There's a hair on my hand. Little sock stitch markers. So I have blue knit. I have this pink knit. I have rainbow stripes. Ooh, glare. And this one's just a maroon. Maroon and it has like um a golden uh heels tough uh heels, toes, and cuff. So I have those in the shop finally. Um what else? This is new. I made yarn cozies or yarn sleeves, whatever you might want to call them. I have them called it yarn cozies in my shop. They're these. So I have this one, which is called um, Plant Mama, because it's a bunch of like little greenhouses and plants and stuff like that. So Plant Mama. I have this one's called Springtime. It's just uh, florals and fruits. Maybe I should have just called it that. Um, <laughs> I have ice cream which is this little ice cream kitties and bunnies and then some fruit. And then the last one are just little bees. So yeah, I have a couple of these in my shop. If you want to purchase any. And then lastly, I finally um, found a charity organization for this um, sock set. So this is called the MMIW Awareness Sock Set, and MMIW stands for Mis Missing and Murdered Indigenous Women. So it is a movement that is relatively new, but the, you know, the background to it is not new at all. Supposedly, well, not supposedly, sorry, um, over 50% of um, Indigenous women experience violence in their life um I want to say over 50 percent of indigenous women experience sexual violence in their life um and so me being from a family of native relatives um I'm not native myself but my stepdad is and my sisters are and my nieces are um, I thought that this was um, something that I could do to help support their, them, their heritage. Um, so I did some research and found a organization in their area of the U.S., the northern Wisconsin area, um, that's, that um, is a charity organization for the MMIW movement. Um, they are currently working on getting their official 501c um, certification or whatever exactly it is. Um, they're working on getting it official, but it's called Waking Women in the Waking Women's Institute. Um, they currently have a GoFundMe to help with the costs to start up this um, organization, but there's a website and the GoFundMe. I have it all linked in the description on my website. Um, I might put it in the description here too, everything. Um, so I am going to donate, what did I put? I think it was 20 or 25% of every sale for this set will go to that um, organization um, to help support. And it is, it is um, important to me um, cause sadly my niece is one of those statistics. So I have two sets available currently. I will die to order any more that come in. Um, 
but they're both um, 7525 Merino Nylon Blend Sock Yarn. And this one is all brown speckles with yellow and orange in there as well. And then the um, contrast, this is a 20 gram mini, same style or same content of yarn to represent the handprint that you see um, for MMIW uh, awareness. So yeah, get your set. Help me support my family. <laughs> and others um, in their family. Okay, that is it for shop update. Oh, I did, uh, <laughs> I did uh, finally get all new photos of my yarn. Um, the other day we had really good lighting and I found a good spot in my house to take really good pictures. So I updated everything and it looks 10 times better. Um, so go check out my website and see, <laughs> see those nice photos so much better. Um, do you see my blanket? I made this quilt several years ago. It's my Legend of Zelda quilt. I got Zelda and Link and then all around it is just little things from the game. Like we have a chest and above that we have, I don't know, maybe that's a chicken up there. We have the three hearts, for, you know, your life hearts. I have coins, the the rupees. Oh, no, there's the chicken. <laughs> there's my chicken. We got rupees, bombs, arrows on this guy. I created the pattern a long time ago. And I cut out all these squares. They're one inch squares. One inch squares and I sewed them all together. This thing took me years to make. Because I had to remake her. Something happened. And I had to remake her completely. I can't show you the whole thing, but it's huge. Um, and I love it. So I put it on my couch. <laughs> Anyways, guys, this video is quite long. Um, thanks for stopping by. I appreciate you spending time with me. Um, if you liked my video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. I really don't care. Um, comments are greatly appreciated along with your subs. I would love for you to subscribe to my video if or my channel if you would like to see more of these. You like to see more of me. Um, so yeah, that's it for today. I'll see you guys next week. Bye.